Thanks for joining us back. We're with Dr. Tara Wilmot and her husband, Matt Wilmot. Welcome to the show, guys. Hi. Thanks for having us. Thank, you're welcome. Uh, you guys are the new owners, Sam Alexander Pharmacy, but you've been there for a while before that, right? You were yes. there for quite a few years. Since I graduated in 2007. Yeah. So yeah. I've been there a while. So the, int uh, or the opportunity came up to... Uh, let Sam go ahead and retire. Mm -hmm. As he really, I'm sure he really wanted it. About time for him to retire, wasn't it? Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. and he's enjoying every minute of it. Well, he's built an he's built an awesome business down there, and it's a testament to what can happen on the square. Absolutely. You know, mm -hmm. and so you guys have taken it over. And have you added anything new, or looking for the future, or um, some when, goals? Before before we took it over, I had started doing some compounding um, mm -hmm. a little bit, and we're starting to grow that a little bit. Okay. Um, and you might explain what compounding is. Um, basically, compounding is where a pharmacist can take any active ingredients, um, any drug, and make it unique to that person. So a big, a big area is BHRT, or bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of hormone compounding is being done right now, mm -hmm. but we do stuff for pediatric patients, um, okay. making liquids for kids that uh -huh. can't swallow, um, vet formulations, um, pain compounds, a lot of you know pain creams, nausea cream like promethazine or phenigrin. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people take that for for nausea. Uh -huh. Sometimes you don't want to take a pill because you're if you're throwing exactly. up, vomiting, right. um, you, it's a lot easier to rub on a cream that is going to go straight into the right. vascular right. Okay. area. But uh, basically that's, that's what that is. Um, we also do vaccinations. Okay. Um, we do a lot of Zostavax, which is the shingles vaccine. Mm -hmm. um, I do, we do flu shots in the fall, which is rapidly approaching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. um, I can't believe it's already the end of July, mm -hmm. but... Um, we do, I do travel vaccines. So people that are going on mission trips and different yeah. things or just going overseas, there's a series of things that it, you know, it's probably best for you to have before you go. Um, can, they, can they call you for that? I mean, like you yeah. said, somebody goes overseas. Would, will you know exactly what they need to? Usually, um, I just ask them to talk to their doctor about mm. what, you know, maybe they the doctor wants to recommend they take before, depending on the okay. country, yeah. um, that kind of thing. But I can definitely go over it with them if mm -hmm. they don't have a local mm -hmm. doctor. Um, and then um, we have a protocol, um, a collaboration, so to speak, with a physician in town to give vaccines to people um, without a prescription for mm -hmm. certain things, but certain okay. things we require a prescription for. So. Mm -hmm. um, and Arkansas just passed in the last year, I believe, um, to where pharmacists can give vaccines to seven and o older. So okay. at one point it was 18, now it's seven. So, um, but we don't, we don't do a whole lot of child vaccines. Mm -hmm. We let the health department, you know, Well, and luckily that. in the school systems, they allow the children to get a flu shot. Right. So that's works, know, very beneficial. Works out yes. good. Mm -hmm. So um, we have um, a lot of DME, um, durable medical equipment. We do billing, diabetic supplies, okay. um, ostomy supplies. Um, we can bill walkers and wheelchairs. Oh, really? Uh, like is, is this through Medicare, Medicaid? Medicare. That, yeah. mm -hmm. Medicare Part B. Medicare B. Okay, so do you do all those parts, A, B, C, D? and A, B, and D. A, B, and D, or, okay. I guess A is really the hospital, but we do yeah. B um, for the durable medical, and then D is prescription. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very confusing for yeah. that age yeah. group. But oh, I'm definitely. sure if somebody wants to know all about it. Do you have forms or little brochures you can let them have more information about? Right, and actually Matt can, uh, a lot of times in the fall, he will um, schedule appointments and different things with some of our Medicare Part D participants or uh -huh. Medicare, Medicare Part D patients and he will go over with them maybe what plan is best for them mm -hmm. depending on what drugs they take you know mm -hmm. and all of mm -hmm. those different factors because it's it can be it's very cumbersome it's very yeah. overwhelming and every year the formularies can change so maybe the plan they're on this year may cover a certain prescription drug but next year they've decided not to so yeah you don't always just want to stay at the same plan that you've had you do definitely want to do a yeah. prescription review and 
we can do that for yeah. you. And I'm sure okay. you have to keep up with the, the latest uh, uh, the government agencies that, that take medications off or suspend them or whatever they do, you know, I'm right. sure you have to keep up with that. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you're, you're on the square. Yes. And you've taken over Sam Alexander. Is there, is there anything you'd like to add to your business that you want to talk about or, or you're pretty well doing all you can do there, huh? We're doing, we're doing a lot. Um, we're wanting to expand our compounding. Um, mm -hmm. we are, we are looking at, we have not started this yet, but we're looking at, um, starting some diabetic shoes. Um, okay. Cause it seems like that, that there's might a growing need is grow, yes, yeah there's, there's a huge population of diabetics and their shoes I mean their feet are one of the you know main issues that they deal with on a daily basis and um, we've just come to realize that that might be something that we can help out mm -hmm. and be a, of a service um, we provide I'm trying to think what else is, is there any outside people that you are, are uh, uh, recommend <laughs> Out. For services, I mean, I, I, like oxygen service or something that you don't do that patients oh, may ask yeah. you right. on a daily basis. Uh, we send people to Lincare a lot. Um, okay. I know there's a place up there behind Hudson's. I can't. Some medical supply right. place for special things that you special don't things actually that we have just there. Can't get what you yeah. recommend. Right, because yeah. we there. don't do oxygen. Yeah, um, okay. you can't build that. So. Yeah. But you're a good consult for, for yes. them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. I want to touch on the compounding just for a second. Uh, uh, a lot of women go through menopause. And they, and my wife went through that, and she had the hardest time finding what worked for her. Mm -hmm. She does patches. She did patches, mm -hmm. and she did some kind of estrogen, and they had to mix it up special. Uh, the only other place that does that is where is it, in Marshall? Is that right? That um, does I the compounding. I think that's the probably the closest place yeah. to mm -hmm. Harrison, which is like 40, 45 minutes. I'm yeah. not and sure. It is, and it, it was a frustrating experience. To, to get what she needed and not every woman's the same right every woman is totally different that's why I'm so strongly convicted on compounding yeah. because you know not everybody's made the same we don't all work mm -hmm. the same way our bodies you know see certain drugs a different right. way mm -hmm. right um, working with a compounding pharmacist and your physician um, and, and I want to make that point. You have together. to go through the uh, physician, physician oh, before absolutely. they. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Right. Do not. Yeah. Absolutely. You need to have like a physician refer mm -hmm. the patient to me, or have the physician, you know, come up with where they want to start. Mm -hmm. If the physician doesn't want to determine where to start, then I can do a survey. It's basically a hormone evaluation mm -hmm. based on some lab values, some okay. uh, questions, like a questionnaire I have them fill out. Um, and then we just kind of go from there. Mm -hmm. You can kind of tweak it as you go along to find that Absolutely. right Absolutely. As long as we keep um, track of symptoms and lab values, um, it's it's pretty easy to see, you know, yes, we're good right here on progesterone, mm -hmm. okay. but maybe you need some testosterone mm -hmm. or maybe you need, you know, some more estrogen. There's several different hormones that are affected. Yeah. So it's not a, it's not a simple process mm -hmm. by any means, right. but it's definitely something that has helped numerous women. Well, and just real quickly, how does that differ from saying taking a synthetic hormone? Well, Synthetic is not exactly what your body produces. Mm -hmm. It is synthetic. Um, Primarin is a popular name that most people will recognize. Right. It's made um, from horse urine. That's what the mm -hmm. drug's made from. Oh, um, wow. So when you look into those things, I mean, obviously thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of women take Primarin. Um, it just may not be best for every woman. Yeah. Um, because it's not what your body makes. Your body, you know, makes the natural hormone, which is what we use exactly. in, in our compounds. So, um, how's the, how's I the, see you getting yeah. um, a big following there, I think. I think that women will take advantage of that for sure. Well, it's, I mean, it can be cumbersome and overwhelming at first, but once, you know, you get to a, a right fit, you yeah. know, it, it should be... It can change a woman's life for sure. Well, it took, like I said, it did take my wife six or eight months to get that leveled out, but now she's pretty happy with what she's doing. Right. Are you now, happy? 
Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's, that's what matters, that's, right? That's the most important, right? I'm the gauge. No, you're exactly. not right. You're not right. Exactly. Yeah. But the, the physician, how, do, how, does, how does all three of you connect? Um, a lot of the physicians here in town like okay. um, that we work with, they will either call us and say, you know, I've got this woman. She, you know, this is a situation. Yeah. Can you talk to her? Um, okay. Or they'll send a prescription that says consult with Tara, um, okay. it, things That's like that. Yeah. So it's, yeah. I mean, they can either pick up the phone, send a fax, mm -hmm. write a prescription, okay. mm -hmm. and then usually there's some phone uh, tag back and forth okay. on, you know, what were the lab values that you guys saw? Has she had, you know, has she been on anything before? Mm -hmm. And just a little bit of, you know, communication back and forth and we keep the doctor abreast of the information and, and mm -hmm. what strengths we're putting her on, um, or any compound for that matter, whatever mm -hmm. compound that, that we're doing. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there's, there's there, I mean, there's, it's endless. Okay. It's, you know, hormones is a very broad mm -hmm. uh, area that's well known right now, but there's, yeah, there's tons. I've, I have a lot of dental compounds that we've started doing oh, really? oh, with okay. dentists and stuff. So, um, there's something for everybody, mm -hmm. really. Well, we're wow. glad you're here. Great. We want to let people know about the compounding service and, and uh, other things that are going on at the pharmacy down there. The Sam Alexander Pharmacy on the, uh, I think it's the northeast corner of the square. Is that right? Northeast yeah, corner? Yep. yep. Corner and of Russian Maine. They're still there. They're down, downtown. is vibrant. We, we go by there all the time, and it's we see people going in and out, so it's a viable business. We appreciate y'all being here. Thank you. Thank you so much. And if you have any information, there's contact information on the screen or at the end of the show. Thank y'all very much. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we'll Not talk clapping. with... Yeah, we, we're, we'll talk with Lauren Tepper in just a few minutes. I clapped already. <laughs> Keep clapping. Go ahead. <laughs>